I'm Patty Romero Lancao. I work at the National Center for Atmospheric Research. I am a sociologist and a Latina. And I have been doing work on cities and climate change, trying to understand why is it that some cities use more resources, consume more water than others. I, I'm, I'm very worried because I know through my collaboration in the IPCC report, the two last reports, that um, climate change is bringing changes in the patterns of uh, heat waves, floods, and other hazards. I don't know how able we are, capable we are, to deal with surprises and with cascading effects. And let me give you a couple of examples. We never expected the flooding that we experienced in 2013 in, in Boulder. I myself was not prepared, and I'm an expert. So I am noticing that many of the sources that provided us safety nets to deal with surprises and with this I'm talking not only about climate change but I'm talking also about conflict, the impacts of migration for instance. Before we used to have safety nets to deal with that, uh, public support, governmental programs, access to education and I see that those uh, sources of, of capacities and capabilities and resilience are being eroded. So I'm, I'm worried. Still, I know that um, I'm, I'm really fascinated to see how able the young, younger generations are to, make, uh, to use so many tools and gadgets and how much they are questioning the current model of development. So I'm really excited at the same time. So, um, again, I, I think that climate change bring cha brings challenges, but I also think that it offers a huge opportunity for reform. And I am very excited to see my girls, for instance, they are always like, Mom, you need to vote for this, you need to go here. So the impacts of our actions will be felt in 50 years. So my concern is that we need to work together with the younger generations, and they have a lot to teach us, by the way, not only we them.